Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about Boswellia serrata, the natural anti-inflammatory. So let's get right into some of what it is. It's a branching tree native to India, North Africa, and the Middle East. The active ingredient in Boswellia is Boswellic acid. Okay. Now there are different forms of it. But basically what it does is it anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antimicrobial, and analgesic. So it has profound effects on things that are inflammatory, right? Cardiovascular inflammation, uh, knee inflammation, joint, disc problems, and so forth. There are three important forms of Boswellia. BAR, boswellic acid, and there are other forms of this called AKBA or 3 acetyl 11 keto beta boswellic acid and KBA 11 keto beta boswellic acid. There are probably about six forms of them, but those three are the most potent ones that are most uh, effective in terms of anti inflammatory effects. So, what, does they, what do they do, right? It inhibits pro inflammation. So it dampens or inhibits pro-inflammatory enzymes and then inhibits the production of inflammatory cytokines. And these are proteins that cause inflammation. So it ha happens to dampen the enzymes as well as the cytokine production, right? So let's get into what some of the uses are for, right? Like I said, it's an anti-inflammatory. It's pretty profound. So you can use it in all inflammatory conditions musculoskeletal conditions, knee pain, joint pain, muscle pain, etc. GI inflammation, respiratory, things like asthma. It's a really good one for asthma. Or even skin inflammation. So you can get uh, creams made of Boswellia uh, to dampen skin inflammation. You can use it for, the studies have shown you can use it for asthma, chronic colitis, Crohn's, IBS, joint pain, arthritis, including osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis, and type 2 diabetes. So there are a lot of studies on this um, which show that it has a profound anti-inflammatory benefit to a lot of different conditions. Now, absorption. In order to absorb and get your blood uh, levels stable with Boswellia, it takes about 30 hours, right? Take with the fatty food. So something with oils and fats or avocado and stuff like that. And uh, it takes about, the half-life is about six hours. So it gets out of our system. So you want to be able to take this uh, multiple times throughout the day, maybe three times a day. Dosages is 200 to 400 milligrams per day, three times a day. So it's two to 400 milligrams, three times a day with meals. Well tolerated. If anything, you're going to have some GI upset in terms of adverse effects because um, it could cause maybe a little bit of GI discomfort, nausea, uh, or some maybe reflux signs. Now, the good thing about it is when you take Boswellia, you can use other herbs, right? Things like turmeric, ginger, quercetin, transresveratrol to have a synergistic effect and dampen inflammation and have a profound effect globally. So I would recommend taking two to 400 milligrams three times a day for a period of maybe six to eight weeks to see if it helps with the condition that you're trying to treat. So there are other forms uh, or registered forms, right? A Boswellian and a phytosome. So these are different uh, companies that have patented um, their formula and helps to increase the bioavailability and absorption in the GI tract. So basically it's not well absorbed if you're taking it with, um, let's say, on an empty stomach. It's better absorbed with fatty foods or fats, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.